plaque preparation started right after World War II. My grandfather and my father decided to get into the water treatment business. And we manufacture here in the United States three of the four major components that go into a water softener. We've got an active program of trying to become more automated. Fennec is easier program, easier to troubleshoot. And more importantly, you have local technicians that can help us. There's a lot of the robotics, we want to be with someone that knows what they're doing. We chose the Fanic robots as that's something our integrator is comfortable working with. We also wanted something that was well represented within the industry with a really good support network. Most of our trimming was done by hand. The operators would take the parts off, do the initial trimming, and put them in the boxes. In the blow molding application, when we went out looking for a better way to do the trimming, some of the things we wanted to eliminate was routing. Router chips, they scatter throughout the plant, and you go through a lot of material. We wanted to be able to use a hot knife for a way of trimming the parts. In the blow molding, you're kind of chasing the part around. If the part will change throughout the day, we wanted to be able to use a robot that could handle those changes. With the precision of the FANUC robots, we needed something that would give us enough window that it would be able to trim the parts the way we need it trimmed as they change. RAS and FANUC have worked closely together using RoboGuide so that we lay out every cell, we pay attention to our payloads, our nurses, so that we aren't oversizing a robot. So we try to make it very user friendly to stop it, to start it, to reset it, to pick different recipes because they mold such a different variety of parts. A robotic automation systems and Platt got together on a solution of how to package these products. The best solution we came up with was using collaborative CR15 FANUC robot so the collaborative advantage in this cell was to get rid of guarding, the full industrial robot. We would have had to have guarding all around the Gaylord. Our fencing would have had to open up. Because of our DCS option and speed check, we could open this all up for the operators to come in and change out Gaylords as they were full. One other feature of this cell that other competitors didn't have was the ability to do two Gaylord filling along with the slip sheet, which was very important for this customer. We don't have a lot of room between our machinery and using that eliminated a lot of the guards and a lot of the excess space that it would have taken up. After we got the robot cell going, I think one of the things we noticed right away was the amount of production that we were able to improve on. The FANUC robot brand has helped RAS. Their support has been great. We're able to get robots in a quick lead time. Also on the other project, FANUC was able to give us an M20 robot to do testing. It was our first time hot knife cutting. We had a robot at our facility. We could, were able to implement that once we were proven that it was a good concept. The operators see it as kind of a benefit that's helping their jobs be easier. When we started implementing a lot of these robot employees had no experience and the local tech school has a really great program on these robots. We've been sending a lot of employees to. A couple of employees went to FANUC at Hoffman Estate. Plan to do many more as we start getting with more robotic cells. The feedback's all been positive, and we have to be a lot more productive. The two jobs we've done with RAS, we've got a third one going, and it's opened our eyes to a lot of opportunities.